Hey everybody, it's time again for another Milestone Calculator Spreadsheet thingamajig. Uh, I spent uh, a little bit of time tonight putting these uh, milestones into a spreadsheet using a similar format that I used for some previous ones because this event is basically the same as some other ones that we've had with some slight tweaks in the points and the value of the orbs and all that, but not a whole lot different. Uh, if we look through the different milestones here in the game you can see you get some anti-venom shards for each one of these uh, milestones here and I'll go into the totals that you'll get for all this stuff but this one is basically just opening the orbs that you get from the event and doing blitz and all that stuff. The lucid dream is basically just playing and raid with mass caper characters and I'll show you exactly how many you need to do. Uh, my alliance is uh, trucking along here. Uh, right now it's a 10 day event so we expect this to mean that we need 9300 points per day and so right now we're, we're doing really well. We're right on track with 8400 so far so we're a little ahead because really it's every 24 hour period that you need to worry about. The third milestone is going to be a daily milestone, which will require blitzing and arena fights. Uh, I'm probably not going to do much arena in this, but I'll explain that later. Uh, you still get some points for doing arena even without the mass capers, but not as much. It's certainly going to be more heavy on the blitz since you get more points per fight with the mass capers there. But those rewards are decent. Uh, just a few anti-venom shards per day over 10 days. You know, we'll get like, what, four times 10 is 40 shards from that, assuming you do it every day. And it's not too bad. Uh, it, if that stays consistently, that, that milestone, uh, it's really not so bad. I think this event overall is relatively easy if you're a very active player and you enjoy blitzing. If you don't enjoy blitzing, then you're probably not going to have a great time. But you, if you knew anything about this game, you knew that before this event ever launched. So, you know, that's how blitzing is. It's just, it's a staple of the game right now. Uh, other thing I want to mention before I leave the game and go to the spreadsheet is in blitzes with characters, uh, we don't know if there will be any orb fragments for the milestones in the miles, uh, in the orb blitzes on Sundays, but at least for the three major blitzes that we will have, which is She-Hulk and then the two blitzes uh, next week, uh, we do get about two orbs per blitz. Uh, it's exactly two orbs per blitz for doing all the milestones. So keep that in mind. You'll get six orbs just from that, which is uh, a nice little bonus for doing all this blitzing. <laughs> all right, let's switch over to the spreadsheet here and we'll focus on this. So uh, what I'm looking at here is each of the events, so uh, or each of the milestones for this event, which I just showed you. So up here at the top left, uh, AV, I'm just calling it the Anti-Venom event, AV what for short. Uh, it's it's his shards, uh, you can call it whatever you want, Night Terrors, you know, Dream Warriors, whatever. Uh, but it ends November 1st at 7 p.m. Central Time, which is the soft reset for me. Uh, that's going to differ uh, by time zone, of course. So if you're in another part of the world like Australia or the EU or something like that, uh, it's, it's going to be a different time, but it's your soft reset. It's when your alliance donations reset and the new offers come out and all that stuff. So whatever that is, November 1st is the day and uh, that should be pretty, pretty consistent across the board. So the first one is the orb opening milestone, which requires 63 total orbs. Uh, it's very similar to the last time we had this event. And in total, if you hit all of the milestones, you'll get 68 anti-venom shards. And you'll get a bunch of other loot over here. Um, GC is gear credits for short. And so those are the purple credits you can use for the blitz store to get the random purple gear drops and whatnot. Uh, there's a whole bunch of uh, catalyst gear. There's a whole bunch of mini uniques towards the end here. Uh, some pretty good stuff. Some stuff you'll probably want to bank for tier 15 and DD4 whenever that comes out, or maybe you need it now for DD3 or you know building up some characters that you enjoy. It's, it's really up to you how you want to spend this stuff right now, because we are totally in the dark as to what's coming up in the long term uh, with this game. <laughs> so the thing is with this tracker, what I've done is I've added a, a, a yellow box down here. Anything that you see in bright yellow is something you can edit or you can put your information in if you make a copy of the spreadsheet, which you're welcome to do. I'll put a link in the description and all that, of course. It's in my, my general uh, spreadsheet portfolio. So if you've seen this uh, lately or you have the link, it's the same place. It's called the Anti-Venom Event down here. So each orb is worth 666 points, right? So if you just go into your Night Terrors event, uh, 
milestone, you can see your total points so far. So it's going to be a multiple of 666, right? So if you were to put in like, you know, 18,000, right? It, that's, you know, several, uh, that's a lot of orbs, right? <laughs> so, oh, I'm sorry, that's not the right. Um, Oops, I actually cleared out this uh, formula when I was playing around with it. But anyway, you want to do that, divide by 666, I'll fix this later. So you get 27, right? So the idea is, is that whatever your current point total is, you put it in here, it'll tell you how many orbs you've already opened, and it'll highlight the milestones that you've already completed in green, and it'll kind of show you where you are within the event. So if I go back here to 666, it'll give me one, right? So then I've only done the first milestone. <laughs> the the next milestone is the Dream Warriors one, which is the Blitz and Arena. And so for this one, you know, you'll get four AT Venom shards per day over the event. That's 40. So coupled with the other one, that's 108 so far. So that'll get you a three star unlock right there. And you get some Fright Orb fragments to help with the first milestone, which is 1350 per day times 10 days is 13,500, uh, which is, you know, a decent amount. It's almost six orbs, <laughs> but that helps you on your way to finishing those other milestones, which is really the goal because that's where all the big mini unique drops are. So for this one, let me explain my thoughts on this. I am not going to worry about arena with symbiotes unless I just have leftover attacks at the end of the day. Um, it doesn't really make much sense to me to waste uh, time trying to win arena fights with bad teams that can't be block order and uh, a lot of the teams a lot of the characters you need to do that with those mixed match teams that aren't block order don't have the mass caper uh, trait on all of their characters so it's not really that effective to me whereas when it comes to blitzing right so i stuck my number of profile wins in here at the beginning of the event so i can track how many wins i've gotten throughout the event but you can see here you get 13 points per character per blitz battle right you only have to do the blitz battle uh, you have to or you have to win the blitz battle with them um so you could do this a couple different ways either you could just do full rotations of all your squads because you want to get points for she hulk who is a new character on her second blitz rotation or or if you really want to take it easy use your non-mass caper characters to drop down to like tier one two and three <clears throat> and then just run teams of five of the mass caper tunes by using the filter in the app, right? Just pick up those five characters, throw them in there, auto it, and finish it, and then take the next five, and the next five, and the next five. Uh, that's the easiest way to get these points. You'll top out at 432 if you do six teams, uh, which is really, uh, there's 34 characters in the game that have mass caper. So if you have all of them unlocked, you could do another team if you wanted to with four of them plus one other to get a few more points. But either way, you know, you're getting a little over 400 points per rotation if you do all those. So you'd have to do those 3.7 times a day with just the mass caper characters to finish this, this uh, milestone. Now to me, you know, I'd rather just get the points and do my normal blitz rotations rather than screwing around with my uh, save squads and having to delete a bunch of squads because I can't save these guys in there I don't have any more room like I don't have any more slots and since I use those squads in war and blitz and I, I just don't want to mess with it So I'm gonna leave my stuff alone and just operate like this is normal blitzing and blitz throughout the day And if I need to I can buy an arena attack with all five symbiotes and lose it right for you know a few uh, a few points, right? So that would be uh, yeah, so it's five times seven, right? So that's uh, 35 plus the three for the win or loss, then that's 38 points. So you can use that as supplement to kind of fill it in. So I'm gonna focus on blitzing though, because that's what I do. Uh, it's up to you how you want to handle this. I just don't think you really have to deal with the arena stuff all that much unless you want to. Um, and you can always buy an extra arena attack for, you know, 25 cores if you wanted to. But it's obviously more effective to win a battle like Blitz with five Mass Caper characters. So I would recommend doing that before spending cores on arena. Other thing here is the Lucid Dream Milestone, which is the Alliance-wide milestone. I'm sure some people are going to have some trouble with this because Mass Car Caper characters aren't always the best option for some of our trait-specific nodes and whatnot. But for me, I was trying to figure out how best to describe what needs to be done per day for this this milestone. And as you can see here, you get 12 mile, uh, you get 12 anti-venom shards throughout the milestones if you hit the uh, second to last one. 
but you might as well go for all of them anyway. It's not that hard. You just have to win a lot of raid battles as an alliance. So I made a little calculator down here and it shows you how many points you get with a win. That's seven per character with the MC uh, trait. You get two points per raid battle, whether there are any M uh, mass caper characters in it or not. And uh, if you win or lose with you know five of them, it's still 37 points. So you could actually queue up five of them, go into a node in the Greek raid, and just quit out, and then do that over and over again. So if you get to the end of the raid, and you know it's you know a long time until they start the next raid, you may actually want to do that just for some easy points. Just do that once, burn 10 energy, and uh, and then go back in and clear the node out. Just a thought, that is a way to make, make your energy more useful for this event. However, I don't think it's gonna be that troublesome. So basically you need 387 points per person per day over this 10 day event. And you need a total, uh, like, so if you do five mass caper characters per raid battle, and you do that 10 and a half times a day, you'll hit that 387. So about 11 attacks a day with those. Now in a Greek raid, you're gonna do about 10 attacks a day alone. So if you could just win battles with your mass caper characters in that, you'll, get, you'll hit most of your points right there. And then anything else that you get out of like your U7, if it's if you're doing like difficulty five and you can't afford to make a mixed match team of, of mass caper characters, you know, that's not too bad, but the, all those points will help add up even if it's only a couple of MC characters and you know, a win loss here and there. So uh, the other thing is, is the target points per day. So if you look at the top here, you know, it starts at 2000, goes up to 93K, but over a 10 day span, right? We need 93,000 points. So per day, per player, you need 387. Then the next day you need 775. Then the day three, you need 1162. And with the idea behind this calculator right here is that I'm trying to show you, if you go back into the game and we go here to the milestones, right? So we want to look at the lucid dream. We can see how much points people are earning per day. And so that will tell you if they're on track or not. You have some overachievers here that bought a bunch of energy. <laughs> Good for them. But you can find yourself like I'm, I'm almost on track for the day and we're not even halfway through the first day of the event. So you can see here, it's really not that hard to earn these points as long as you just take the time to build a team that will work for whatever your Greek node uh, nodes are. And so just do that. And it's pretty easy to, to finish this out. But if you need to, if you've got slackers in your alliance, you can track the target per player here and see how it's stacking up on each event day. So uh, I try to help out as much as I can here to explain which day each event day is. So uh, for instance, this one started on Thursday, it goes to Friday. So that's 7 p.m. Central Time to Friday, 7 p.m. Central Time is the first day, 24 hour period. And then each one follows beyond, uh, behind that, right? So that's what I'm trying to illustrate here. Now, as your alliance goes through and earns points, you should put it in this bright yellow box here. And that'll help you understand whether or not you're hitting your targets, right? So if it's the first day and we're already at 9,300, we're doing well. If I put in say 27,000, right? Let's say we're farther along. Uh, oh, maybe I should pick something higher. I'll say 47,000, right? So we're five days through, right? Well, up here, it'll also show and show you where you are in the milestones because this is uh, formatted to do that. And it's all based on this cells points here. So the idea is just put in your current value of your uh, alliance points and then see where you are. And if you're not hitting the event day targets, then maybe grab this target per player and go check your leaderboards in the game and just see who's slacking, who's not doing their job or who's, who's just ignoring the mass caper trait altogether in rates. Uh, the last couple things I wanted to show here is on the right we have uh, the Fright Night or or Fright Orb offers. Uh, they offered I think it was five for twenty bucks, so it's four bucks an orb, or you can get one for five dollars. Um, you know, it, if you want to buy these, you're welcome to. Of course, uh, I'm not going to be buying them. I don't think it's necessary. No, I'm sorry, it is actually six. That's what it was last time. I screwed that up. I thought it was five, but I guess I glanced at it too quickly. Um, but yeah, you can get one for $5 or you can get six for $20. So 333 an orb if you buy the bigger one. Uh, but that's 20 bucks on orbs that probably aren't even going to give you very many anti-venom shards. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, this time it's worth 666 points, which is kind of funny. Um, you know, there's a special meaning behind that number, I'm sure. Uh, so for expected event progress and blitz, uh, I was just trying to show uh, 
what you're going to get out of Blitz. So if you do 120 wins per day at, say, 90 frags on average per drop, right, we can get 50, 100, 150, 375, 1,000, or 2,000 frags per drop on a Blitz win. And over 10 days, let's assume that the Orb Fragment Blitzes are included. Uh, that's always kind of a toss-up. We've had it lately in the last few events that deal with blitzing they have included in those orbs uh blitzes but you never know the old old time uh events they did not so if you do that you'll get say 54 or 5.4 orbs a day over 10 days is 54 orbs you'll get six from the blitz milestones that i was showing earlier right that's two per blitz and there's three major blitzes during this event and then you'll get 12 from the event milestones which if you add up the total frags that you get from uh the dream warriors milestone and the lucid uh dream milestone is the 13,500 plus 10,500 uh throughout the event you'll get 12 12 uh, total orbs from those two together uh, if you buy any from offers just go ahead and put it in here add a four or something if you bought you know or six if you bought the uh the big offer right maybe there's going to be some core offers i remember they've done that in the past where it's like 450 cores per uh orb bot so you could also throw that in here if you happen to buy them or uh if we happen to get any screw ups from from uh fox next or scopely sent to our inbox then let's add them here and just count them in the total but the idea here is that we're going for a total number and right now it's set to 72 as an as an estimate right and basically if i scroll back over here to the left i know i need 62 total so uh, if i'm hitting 120 blitz wins a day I'm doing really well and I'm going way above the total needed, which means I can slack off a bit uh, next week when it comes to blitzing. Now, if you want to get really into it over here, this is from a previous event. We have this uh, blitz frag tracker and you could count or drop the number of each frag drop you get in here to try to get an idea of how many drops you're getting of each kind. So let's say I got five of these, and two of these, and three of these, and one of these, and one of these, right? Maybe I need to do like 15 here, and, and 11 here, and say seven, right? So the idea is we're trying to figure out what the drop rate is on these fragments. So if we get, say, that's 35, and then we're saying average shard drop is 151 shards per blitz win based on the numbers here that i've gotten so far now this will average down quite a bit over time if you happen to get one of these 2000 drops and you get really lucky that's what really drives it up you can see there if i remove that it goes down to 96 but so far from what i've seen the vast majority of these have been 15 50 and 100 drops um, a couple of 150s here and there and i've gotten one 375 drop so far on three rotations and none of the one or 2000 drops so far so you know that's how it goes in any case, uh, just for tracking purposes, the start time uh, was 10.22 at 7 p.m. Uh, October 22nd. It'll end on November 1st at 7 p.m. Central Time. And then the, the now function, which is what I use for a couple of equations to tell like the days remaining and the days left in the event, uh, is right here. And then I did have these buttons here. I need to... Um, refresh to see them they aren't going to show up all the time for some reason it's uh cheats is a little screwy when it comes to buttons but there are scripts behind them in order to enumerate each one of these drop types so it's like 50 100 150 uh, if you recall i used this for a previous spreadsheet to help with the tracking so you just hit the button and it'll just add one to whatever value you hit here and you can always go and edit these because they're just raw number values so if you accidentally hit it twice or you accidentally hit the wrong one you can go edit it back down to what the correct number is and that'll help with the tracking the actual uh, the actual uh, script data is right here so if you want to adjust it or use it for some other purpose you're welcome to uh, you just got to know how to throw that in the uh, script sheets and uh, map it to a button or whatever you want to do with it so that's the whole calculator that gives it kind of kind of what what's expected in a nutshell i think if we tone this down a little bit maybe 100 blitz wins per day on average with 90 orbs brags per blitz win you get 45 orbs from that blitz you get six from milestones 12 from the event milestones uh, that'll give you 63 which is exactly how many you need for this event uh, and then as you go through and you open those orbs you know be sure to pull in those uh points here and just see how you're doing and track towards the total milestones so that's basically it uh it's pretty pretty interesting event overall um there's a lot of random drops and i'm not too keen on the orb drop rates for anti-venom shards yet but uh yeah we'll see how it goes um, i'm hoping to get six stars on anti-venom to 
fill in all those red stars, but who knows if that'll happen. So anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you all enjoyed this spreadsheet and I'll catch you later.